Hey guys, this is this is like my third or fourth attempt to try and record this video. And what stopped me is um, I get very heated about it. I get I get what I like to call emotionally compromised about this subject and. Um, Someone asked me to, to discuss this subject. Someone asked me to talk about this subject, so I'm going to. And this subject is about social media. Namely, the new thing that Facebook have put out, Threads or whatever the hell it's called. And then it mutated into a rant where I basically I just went full blast on people and so I will put it into words you can understand social media is not social okay let me let, 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 let allow me to repeat that okay social media is not social it's anti-social if you want to name social media correctly, you should name it anti-social media. The reason why I say that, multiple, multiple fold. One, how many times have you seen someone post a picture and say, hang on, I've got, I've got to find the perfect filter? Well, then that's not really you, is it? How many times do people use social media to sell you something? Well, that's not being social, is it? I mean, yeah, gone are the days of a guy going door to door trying to sell you vacuum cleaners and spatulas, okay? But, I'm sorry, how many times have um, people changed their, their bios for a little flag because a bomb went off or something tragic happened and they think that that's helping? That's not helping. No one cares. No one cares. Okay? No one cares. Okay? Your social media is a lie. Everyone's social media is a lie. Mine, to a certain degree, is a lie. I post pictures of me being happy. I'm not fucking happy. I am chronically depressed. Literally, right underneath that Amazon box is a pile of antidepressants to try and give me the delusion the dopamine hit of being happy. And it's amazing how women will show pictures of their piss lips. Okay. And their buttholes. And their tartars. And try and get you to go to their other websites and various other things. And yet try to post wholesome fucking. No. No you fucking hypocritical goddamn liars. If you get paid to suck dick. Fucking suck the dick and shut up. Okay, you can't talk if something's in your mouth. Alright? Now, I the people I follow on Instagram are majority artists of some caliber. And I don't just mean adult artists. I mean like tattooists, tattoo models, model painters, um, cosplayers. Um, case in point, here's B. Phillips. Okay, love you, B. B, you're a, she's she's British. Okay, she is a tattoo artist, and and she's talking about her air fryer, which happens to be a ninja. Nice one, by the way. Good, good, good brand. Um, what else is there? Uh, here you go. Yes, this is Mara. Uh, um, uh, Ma, uh, Mara, Mara Brax, she's German, she's a tattoo tattoo ma artist and model, okay, and couldn't make it as either, so now she does OnlyFans content. I don't care about this, okay, I don't care about this, in fact, watch, I used to, I, I, I used to watch her for various other content, but look, follow, unfollow. Bye, you thirsty bitch. I'm not interested in any of that shit anymore. Get this through your head, okay? 
You keep saying, oh, men are shit. Men are trash. No, the men you date are shit. The men you go out with are trash. Because by that standard, I could say all women are lying, cheating, cunts. Not nice, is it? Not nice when you're put into an entire bracket just because of what you've got in between your legs. No, the men you have dated of trash. The men you have dated have treated you like shit. Guys, the women you have dated have cheated on you. She's no queen if a pawn can take her. Understand that for a second. You are a fucking king. You deserve a goddamn queen. She's no fucking queen if a pawn can take her. Do you understand? Get that through your head. And all these women that are mad at passport bros. No. Be mad. Be fucking mad because you were spoon fed a lie that was that's now known as third or fourth or whatever way feminism. Okay? You won. This is what you got to understand. Feminism won. You got everything that you wanted from first wave, second wave, and even third wave. So what the fuck are you arguing for now? You're arguing about things that are happening in third world countries while taking on first world luxuries. Get that through your fucking skull. Stop complaining to the men in the first world who have no impact whatsoever on the third world. Okay, you, Miss Pink Hat, ah! feminist, go to third world. Complain there. That's where the that that that's where their manager is, Karen. Okay, that that's that's where their manager is, Karen. Go complain over there. All right, but most importantly. Stop saying men are trash because we are choosing to go out and want to date women who are traditional, traditional women, trad wives. You've even you've even tried to come up with a a, 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 a horrible slur for traditional women, trad wives. Listen, if you got a fucking nose ring, a septum ring, bye. I don't want a cow. I may be into a lot of kinks, but who cows are not it. Okay? If 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 you want to be led by your fucking nose ring, or your stupid fucking gauged ears, which stink of cottage cheese, you smelly fucks, wash them. Okay? Or you choose to bark at people you disagree with. You belong in a fucking lunatic asylum. Unless, like I said, this is a person who has mental health issues telling you, you belong in a fucking asylum. Because you choose to stand in. <laughs> Do that in front of me and see what happens. Seriously. Seriously. Do that in front of me and see what fucking happens. Because you won't be barking. It's kind of hard to bark for a broken jaw. Dumb asses. Everyone's shocked and amazed, you know? Fucking. Look, social media is a lie, okay? It's literally designed to just harvest your data, okay? It's bad enough that Zuckerberg has got you with the Facebook and the Meta and, and Instagram, he's now got you with this thread shit. Okay, yeah, keep keep shoveling money into his pocket. You don't get it, do you? Every time, and, 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 and let me make this abundantly clear, okay? Threads is literally the bastard child of Instagram and Facebook. Merge them two together, you get threads. That's it. And it's, from what I've seen... I don't have a Threads account. I don't want a Threads account. And if I if it's automatically made me one because I have an Instagram account or because I have a Facebook account, account, I don't care. I'm not posting shit to it. Same as YouTube Shorts, okay? YouTube Shorts and TikTok have ruined, okay? You have single-handedly destroyed. You have lowered the IQ of the entire human race by about 
50 to 70 points by posting your short-term 30 second to a minute long bullshit content. You have allowed people to come up with stupid fucking pinpoint, pinpoint or tailor-made ads for you. No. No, you fucking haven't. Okay? TikTok was supposed to be Vine 2.0. Vine started it. Okay? If you are a Viner or got famous for being a Viner, fuck you. Thank you for contributing to the downfall of fucking society that allowed the retard known as fucking Joe Biden to be sitting in office. All right? Because Vine caused your IQ to lower, so you voted for the stupid old white man who can't fucking fuck win a fight against stairs. Or gravity, I might add. The dude fell off a bike that's still. He falls not only downstairs, but upstairs like he's a drunk. He's a sick old man that the DNC have propped up and turned into a fucking hand puppet. And you guys are all seal capping. Because you would rather see them do that. You'd rather see... Th if, if that was your grandfather, if that was your father, that would be fucking abuse. That would be elderly, elder abuse. Do you understand that? But you would rather put up with the abuse of an elderly man who does not have the faculties to be a leader of a country because you don't want just you just don't want Donald Trump in office there are tons of good political leaders out there Ted Cruz yeah he's had some good takes he's had some bad takes um, Kennedy He's had some good takes. He's had he has some bad takes. DeSantis, I was I was for DeSantis. He's had some major bad moves, so he's going down. In fact, he's if this was the graph, he's down here. He's actually below the pole. Like I said, whoever's in charge of your social media accounts that said doing deep fakes and 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 you know all that shit was good. Nah, bruv, fire them, fire them. And make it public. Seriously, fire them. Say, I'll fire my PR team. I'm sorry that shit will never happen again. Because you've got to understand, if you are supposed to be leader of the free world, and you are surrounding yourself with yes seals, and you do something stupid drastically, just like what Biden's doing right now, to the point where you tank the fucking economy, or you turn what was once beautiful cities, like fucking Detroit in the 40s, like fucking California, and, 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 and whatnot, into zombie-filled shit heaps. Gavin Newsom should not be governor. Do you understand that? And here's another thing, okay? If your voting system goes on by about, by, by person per state per capita, California has lost seats. Do a fucking consensus check. You'll find that California has lost seats. Texas has now technically grown seats. Florida, grown seats. Colorado, grown seats. Utah, even, grown seats. Because the amount of people that have fled California. California should be down to... Should be... They, California is just a fucking joke. It's a shit stain. Literally. It's a shit covered shit stain where you literally are standing there with about 12 fucking baby wipes just trying to wipe that shit off. And it's just not happening. It's just not going nowhere. Why? Because of Gavin Newsom. Get him out. Get him out. It is a. F California, the entire state, has been turned into a third world shithole it's Detroit 2.0 where's the lie where's the fucking lie I try not to post much on social media because I don't want people to have my data I don't want people like um Musk, Zuckerberg, whoever, to have my data. 
I shit post on Twitter, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm on, I think it's on my second or third account on Twitter because I shit post so much, people, ba I get banned. Um, I don't care. Look at my face. I don't care. It means nothing to me, okay? Twitter means nothing to me. Facebook means nothing to me, okay? It's nothing to me. I'm posting real content to you people because I don't care anymore. I'm sick and tired of the bullshit. I'm sick and tired of the fucking lies, right? Social media is a fucking lie, okay? It is how it's designed to help you fulfill some sort of bullshit fucking fantasy. If that's the case, download Second Life. Seriously, download Second Life, create an avatar, and literally live your little fantasy world, all right? Stop posting bullshit, like going to an Airbnb and saying, Oh, I'll follow my guy to make money. No, you're a lying piece of shit. Okay, every time I see bullshit like that, the first thing that comes up to me is like, Red flag, red flag, red flag. You get a red flag. You get a red flag. You get a red flag. You all get red flags. Sorry, no. I do not believe a fucking thing. Okay? I could see a post that I've put and say, I don't believe him. And that's me. Do you understand? I have zero trust whatsoever in any social media platform. None. Not one. Not one. Please understand that. I don't care. I am not going to pat you on the back and finger you in the bum. Alright? I don't care about your dopamine hit. I don't care about your likes. I don't care about your follower count. I don't care about any of that shit, okay? That is petty. You cannot take it with you. You cannot use that to grow as a fucking person. Okay? You can't. All social medias, regardless of what they are, are a fucking pyramid scheme. Deep down, fundamentally, they are a fucking pyramid scheme. Even YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Pyramid scheme. Do you understand that? It's a dopamine hit. Seeing that follow account go up. See that thumbs up to thumbs down happen. See so and so subscribed. Da 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 da. It's all little trickle coffee, pe co filtered coffee, fucking drip, 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 drip dopamine. Don't care. Don't fucking care. I don't care. I don't care. I just don't care. Okay? When it comes down to it, fundamentally, it shouldn't bother you either. Like who you like, talk to who you talk to, and most importantly, when the moment someone turns around and says to you, you are not allowed to say that, or you cannot say that, punch him in the fucking throat. Seriously, just punch him in the fucking throat and tell him, I can say whatever the fuck I want, because it is a God-given right. I've been granted a voice. I can speak. If what I'm saying offends you, be offended. If what I'm saying hurts your feelings, have hurt feelings. If what I'm saying resonates with you and is truthful, congratulations. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Now, I'm not going to say the person's name who wanted me to, to discuss this because they asked me not to, so I'm not going to. But now you know my take on social media. It's all fake. It's all a lie. It's all bullshit, and it's all designed to harvest your data. Understand that every like you make, every you ever wonder every time you mention, oh, I I need new pillows. All of a sudden, you're getting ads for pillows, recommendation for pillows. Which, by the way, I don't need new pillows. I'm proving a point. And yes, even though my phone is technically off. Microphone is on. Here's another thing for you. What's the difference between the year 2010 and 2011? Apart from 200, 356 days. Seriously, what's the difference? Three laws got passed. Three laws. Laws that you don't know. Laws that you don't care. Because it wasn't advertised. But that was the year mobile phones ceased having removable batteries. And all mobile phones had batteries that you could not remove. Cannot remove. Now, 
Now, ask yourself this. Why? So that the microphone stays on. So that government agencies can... And this isn't tinfoil hat. This isn't conspiracy. This is known fucking fact. Okay? That thing in the corner is listening. Even open, even open it says to you in the terms of service, it will randomly select 30 seconds of a conversation that you are having. So, it, it, therefore, how do you know it's having a conversation I'm having if it's not listening? And it's a known fact through, through various data breaches uh, of, of Google that they have entire gig gigas gigs of data terabytes of data of people's conversations and yet a law had to be passed to abolish that law that got passed in 20 i think it's i think i want to say 2010 but i'm not sure i think it's either 2010 or 2011 so now phones when you order your phone They'll ask you, do you want to have the ability to remove the battery or not? You have to opt in. Think about that. You want to know why? It's because you've got walking, talking, listening devices in your pocket. Your tablets, your phones, your Alexas, your smart TVs, your smart fridges even. Why? Why? Why the fuck does a fridge need to connect to the internet? Hmm? Why does my printer need to connect to the internet? Speed and convenience of what? Of who? It's in my physical property. It's in my hand. Why, why does my printer need to connect to the internet? Why does my fridge? Why does technically even your TV? Oh, we have to have a smart TV. No, why, why? So you fuckers can listen and harvest more data from me? No, thanks. Again, I'm starting to sound like a weird conspiracy theorist, but think about it, okay? If you go retro tech, I mean full retro tech, get yourself a Nokia 3310 or a 3330, old school dinosaur phone, yeah? One of those old flip phones, yeah? Get yourself one of them. Shut down all all, all, all the, the Alexas and stuff you have in your house, okay? If need be, physically remove the microphones, okay? And I've actually done that once as a test. I've, like, why, why do webcams have microphones? I get it. If if if, if you don't have a microphone, on, 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 but laptops have built-in microphones. Computers have microphones. So why does a webcam need a microphone? A microphone, I might add, that you can't turn off. Why is what? Why is it you need twelve or thirteen separate uh, auto executable scripts to get rid of all the tele uh, uh, telemetry data that's being collected on your operating system? If the operating system is on my hardware that I own and is in my physical possession, um, what? Are you starting to understand something? You, you, so social media companies are the bag, are the money. Most hacking, most hackers, okay, can just reverse engineer your password or literally get so much information from your social media by reading in between the lines. It's the first thing we learn in, 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 in cyber security. If you're going to do a physical pen test, i.e. say I'm being hired by the CEO of a company, okay? He feels that he's uh, uh, on-site security for, I don't know, 
a, a factory, okay? It's not up to snuff. And his competitor is somehow getting, uh, beating him to the market for certain products, okay? So I would then pretend to be either an agency worker or my car's broke down or just something random. I, I, I will pick a character. Go to the said factory. Somehow manage to penetrate that factory, Giggity. And then start looking around for where the web, for where the security cameras are, where the security desk is. What what triggers a security alert? What doesn't trigger a security alert? Is there any open Wi-Fi connections on the web on the cameras? Oh, there is. Du -du 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 -du. I've got it on my tablet. I've got Kali Linux on my tablet. I've got Kali Linux on my phone. I'm not even joking. Here, let me pull up my phone. Come on. That's because this phone's rooted. So it's telling me, hey, your phone's, your boot locker, boot locks on your phone's root scape. So it just says Google. Okay. Now, this is a Nexus, Huawei Nexus P6 that I've I flashed. Which means it's, it, it is a phone. It has a SIM chip. It's a phone. Okay. But, oh, look at that. That's not normal. No. I have Kali Linux on my phone. Do you understand? See, this is a walking, talking hacker's tool. Okay. Now, it's asking me to sign in. My networks, which is what I'm going to do because I've, I've always had it do that. See. And so, so I just wanted to run something like Hijacker, okay? So I would run Hijacker. I would set the parameters on Hijacker. Run it at start, save all packets. Select the band frequency. I, I would do this before I walked on in on, on site to the specific place, of course. Set certain things. And then I'll take the phone, hit the power button once so it looks like it's powered down, and just leave it in a locker or in a bag while it's doing its job it's just <laughs> then it will alert my, my smartwatch see and it will tell me exactly the mac address or everything else that i needed which is where my tablet comes in or my laptop Nine times out of ten, I used to pretend I was I was IT. I worked in the IT department at the factory, and most people would just go, "Oh, well, yeah, yeah, sure, here you go." They'd just give me all their relevant information. It's all about this. There you go. So it has now lo located sixteen routers, fifty-two computers, and twenty-seven separate mobile devices. Where's my phone? My phone. Do you understand? So let's. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. These are all the ones I've previously cracked. Just on my street.
Do you understand? Are, are you starting to understand what I'm talking about? Turn off your power off. Shutting down. There you go. I have pen testing devices. I have Raspberry Pis. Um, this is a Ponogachi right here that I mess around with. Granted, I've modified the firmware of the Ponogachi, so it's not your stock Ponogachi anymore. It actually does a Rick roll. <laughs> and a few other things when I tell it to. Again, using an interface with this phone, everyone's like, what? It's not uncommon to see someone with at least two phones anymore. And that's my whole point. I have a laptop. If I really need a little bit more extra muscle in, in cracking a Wi-Fi password. Um, one, one of the things I love doing is called Bluetooth Man in the Middle. And most people are like, what the fuck is a Bluetooth Man in the Middle? Okay. I will put it into layman's terms for you. Bluetooth devices such as earbuds, um, those Bluetooth speakers, uh, things of that nature. They've just got simple, simple hash keys. Okay, what that means is when you go to pair a device, like you're, you're pairing a smartwatch, you'll get a pop-up that says so-and-so's MAC address. Do you wish to pair it? Yes, no. Okay, yes. So-and-so's phone wishes to pair it. Do you? Yes. Done. Okay, well, guess what? Those are public knowledge. Let me explain that to you again. Those are public knowledge, which means you can take the MAC address or, or the known Bluetooth connection points, put them in a, a, a specific list, like a password cracker list, and flood it. So if you see XXX Bluetooth speaker, you're like, okay, it's a speaker. Go to your, your, speaker, your speaker collection and then flood it. Like I was just showing you. Flood it cracked it which means it won't get a pop-up saying so and so is trying to connect to you because it's recognized you as a device it's already previously connected to so it'll go ding and now i control your speaker or your earbuds or your whatever that being said with the right software I can then use that Bluetooth connection as a man in the middle to get to the device that it's connected to. So case in point, this is the victim's phone. This is my phone. Okay. He's listening to a Bluetooth uh, earbuds. Okay. I can flood his earbuds. Now I own his earbuds. I'm listening to what he's listening to. Okay. I can even control the music. Volume up, volume down, skip, whatever. Okay. His phone, okay, is now my phone, according to the Bluetooth. They're the same phone, according to the Bluetooth devices. Okay. So while he's got these things powered on, I have a low level connection to his phone, to his, to, to his phone. I have a low level connection to his phone. And there's nothing stopping me with the right software from using his Bluetooth as a pseudo router if you will bluetooth router if you will from harvesting the data i want from his phone passwords banking inc banking information you name it this is why bluetooth devices need stronger encryption and i do that all with a raspberry pi i did it as a test with my pi over there with with that uh, pi zero w2 with with Ponogachi. I modified some Ponogachi scripts and I got my Ponogachi to start hacking my own Bluetooth devices. My own devices. Understand this. When I found out that I could do this, okay, I did not and I have not made my my code available for anyone. And I learned it in Python. Python with a little pinch of Java. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. And so I have upgraded my Pi game, so to say. So 
Model B. Now this thing, yeah, does five gigahertz Bluetooth, does Wi-Fi 2.4 and five gigahertz up to 50 meters with this with this single antenna. If I swap it out for the dish antenna that I have, I can go up to 80 to 100 meters. Let me, and, and again, of course, yeah, this has got my code. If I want to, I can put a cooler on this. I could put a, 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 a hat on it. Nine times out of 10, what I put on it when I take it out is I've got a couple of 18650 battery packs because this thing needs five volts. Anything less than five volts, it starts giving you issues. But point is, I take that, put it in a backpack with a 18650 battery pack um, with a regulator circuit on it that I've bought off of Amazon. You can buy them, they're not that hard. Bit of soldering, and then I've got... Where did I put it? I have a... Where'd you go? I'll, I'll find it later. I have a hat, that's what they call connectors that go on top of your pie pins here they call them hats i have a hat that has a small little led uh, lcd screen with a uh, uh, looking uh, a stick and some buttons to navigate the menus because i've literally designed it to navigate the menu like it's a video game just do, 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 do. a for forward b for back up down left right literally sit and i just sit there and i'm like do, 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 do. I, I, I play it like it's like like i'm playing mario and I'm like, no, 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 I'll take that privilege. No, 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 I'll take that privilege. And what's what's even more funny is, again, I can even hook up RFID readers to this too. So if you've got key fobs or, or security lanyards that you salt, if you don't know what that is, I can't, I can't help you, but um, use your salt security. I can nick your security passwords. I can even wave that across certain doors that have RFID on them and doors unlock. So yes, I'm very good at pen testing. Very good. And I own my own security company, Cylon Security Solutions, my company. And like I said, there are some some jobs where they said, oh, I need you to go on site and I've hacked their business from their website. I don't even have to. Don't even have to. Botnets, you name it. Have I hired botnets? Yes. Do I make my own botnets? No. Can I make my own botnets? Hell yes. Botnets are the easiest thing to make. Please. I can make a botnet in my sleep. But do I? No. If I really wanted to, the things I've learned in ethical hacking school could make me a very rich person. And I'm telling you right now, how does Zuckerberg do it? How does Elon Musk recoup his losses? Ads? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, Ad ads are just the sprinkles on the cake. He, people make their money through so on social media through harvesting your data. Okay, don't be surprised if you start seeing your own face used on ads. Your own posts used to post about something that has nothing to do with your posts. And you have no legal right to that. Even though it's your likeness, it's your face, check the end user license agreement. You know, that boring wall of text that nine times out of ten you can't be asked to read. You just scroll, 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 scroll. I accept. Like the sheep that you are. Anyway, this video has gone far too long. Enjoy the rant. Enjoy the video. Uh, and I will see you all in the uh, next one.